yes your hair can also look like this even if you're an african so guys come with me and let's prepare rice water for massive hair growth first thing as i always say you leave your rice water to ferment for a, a while personally i leave my own for up to a month because i feel the longer it stays the more potent it is so you drain out the water from the rice if you notice you have to squeeze and squeeze to make it um, secrete all the juice so you wash out the rice it depends on how full your hair is if your hair is very full you might need to add more water so that the water can be enough for the hair but if your hair is not as full you can just go along with the quantity and the portion you've gotten from the rice remember to always dispose this because it stinks like it smells very bad so if you watch my previous video that i spin to my account you would see that i had given a tutorial but it seemed it was not clear to some people so what we use is raw rice we did not use um cooked rice the rice is raw so we move on to the next phase which is applying the rice water now to the hair you need just three things if you don't have a steamer you need a plastic bag a comb and a towel or a piece of cloth that you would likely not be using again just or something you can wash just because of the smell so first things first we apply the rice water to the so i combed my hair because it was tangled if your hair is not tangled you can just go ahead and start applying but to avoid um breakage you just have to detangle and comb out every single strand so after that is done we move on to um applying the rice water you can use a spray bottle but this method is easier for me because it allows me to scoop the water in my palms and distribute around my hair as well as massage we also also be careful because it burns the eyes you can see so many times in this video I struggled with the rice water entering my eyes I couldn't even see at some point so if it goes into your eyes it will burn and I mean it so you have to be prepared and um, once you're done pack your hair in a bun um, get that extra towel or rag that you want to use and then tie your hair in the plastic bag or your steaming bag if you have one when you've tied your hair make sure it's, it's it's wrapped tightly because if it's not it's going to let the rice water drip all over your face and then it the next step would be to wrap the piece of cloth around your forehead tightly please remember tightly this is to prevent the rice water from entering your eyes and burning your eyes you know the eyes is very sensitive so you have to protect it as well so after this is done you can leave the rice water in for about 30 minutes or as long as you please and then so remember when you are doing this process do not use shampoo or soap to wash your hair because you're going to take away all of the nutrients from the rice water by washing it out so you're just going to use only water to wash your hair and then um, dry afterwards so with no product i was able to achieve this curl pattern i actually just did a bantu knot on my hair to see how it would look like and then i pulled it out and I noticed that my hair was quite just with water. So you need to try and shift it. I'm confused. Let's try it. So another thing to note is when you're done with your rice water treatment, what you should do is always put your hair in a protective style and make sure the hair dries out very well air dries because if it doesn't to be smelling so this was the next morning after i had taken out the bantu knots although i didn't achieve such a great curl i noticed that my hair curls more when it's wet so i the next thing to do is to use your hair growth oil this one i had already shared a video on um, the hair growth oil i prepared it's also pinned to my profile you can check it up so i i put in the hair growth oil into my scalp and just went on to stretch out the hair and um, you can see the bounce you can see the shrinkage you can see how long the hair is basically the hair is very long and so for the longest time my hair was stuck at shoulder length but now using rice water consistently every single month 
you can see how long my hair is my hair is like on my chest now so this is a great improvement anybody can use rice water there are questions like that i was getting anyone can use rice water any hair type whether relaxed or natural hair you can actually use rice water and some people have complained about the smell if the smell is too bad you can just use your favorite perfume oil or your favorite fragrance but then again nothing comes easy to see great results you need to actually sacrifice so and i can assure you that there is no person that would use rice water consistently and when i say consistently i mean consistently that you will not see a result in your hair growth your hair definitely grow so if you want to see more videos like this on hair growth tips give me a follow comment and like bye